So I learned to play hockey about 10 years ago. <laughs> so I learned to play hockey about 10 years ago. <laughs> Years ago, go. I think I want to try something new. Taking this life from a different view to change the lens I'm looking through. Oh, I was thinking, I was thinking, what a beautiful day to see the world. Say what a beautiful day. Welcome to the Mana Show. When I first told my wife I wanted to play ice hockey and more importantly that I wanted to be a goalie, she at first questioned if I could, and initially she started throwing things at me all day in the apartment because that's what a goalie does. A goalie gets things thrown at them, so ever since then, to practice my reflexes, she throws things at me. I learned to play hockey about 10 years ago, and ever since then, it has been probably one of the most enriching things in my life. So, so a typical hockey night um, kind of sucks, actually. It, uh, you're, it's a late night, especially for adult leagues and adult games. You're playing at an obscene hour, you know, at night, um, you're usually playing on at times when everyone else is either watching a game or doing something else at night or doing something fun, and you're out, you know, playing hockey. Um, it's a ridiculously smelly sport. I mean, your equipment and your gear, it there, there's nothing that can take the stench out of hockey equipment. Nothing. So. One promise I made to my wife when I first started playing hockey was that after every game, I would come home and clean my gear. I'd wash my, my uniform, I'd wash my gear, and I'd do everything I could to minimize the stench. The size of hockey gear um, and equipment, the amount of space that it takes in your apartment, in your home, is, is quite obscene. And the urge to get more gear is ever present, so so that's a problem. And most nights, you're gonna come home pretty late, smelly, and really sore, especially the next morning. For the goalies, sometimes the puck decides to find that one spot in your equipment when you don't have any protection, and you come home with a ridiculous bruise or something broken for the next week to enjoy. One highlight of playing hockey is tournament play. So when you participate in tournaments, you're going with your team and you're competing in another city, another state, sometimes another country. So I've played in tournaments in Montreal and Toronto and I have to say it's some of the best, most fun hockey I've ever played. One cool part about playing in Canada is that you're walking down the street with a hockey stick and everybody gives you the nod. You don't look like a weirdo, everyone gives you the nod and say, hey look, there's a hockey player. You know, and it's, it's a cool feeling. Um, but realistically, as an amateur New York team, you don't really expect to compete, let alone even beat, a lot of these Canadian teams. But that's really not the reason why we go. When I first started playing hockey, and I'd go to Canada with my wife, she would tell me not to tell her friends that I play hockey, especially since all of her friends played hockey, until a couple of years into, into my car career, uh, <laughs> and then I gained more experience. Because folks in Canada take hockey a little bit more seriously than we do. <laughs> I had been watching hockey for a long time. I've been a hockey fan, I've been a Rangers fan for a long time. And you know, I'd only started playing hockey about 10 years ago. I first started playing hockey because I was trying to quit smoking. And I needed something that was more engaging, it was more fun than going to the gym. And hockey was that sport, hockey was that activity. Now, when I first wanted to 
you know, jump into hockey. Again, my wife began with starting to throw things at my head to, you know, get my reflexes there. But I wanted to find, you know, a group of people that would it would be fun to play with. And, you know, other sports, it can be quite difficult as a beginner, as an adult, to find a group of people you can play with and, and join. But I learned very quickly that the hockey community is quite accepting because of the nature of how hockey really is. I started playing hockey with the Gay Hockey Association, the GHA of New York, because these were a bunch of guys who were super accepting. Their, their, their mantra is anyone can play. And some of the best people I've ever met in New York City, I met on the ice through the GHA. So that taught me a lesson initially about the sport and the people who I was about to meet over the next 10 years of hockey. I chose to play the goaltender because it's difficult. It's hard. It's hard work. Um, and that sounds a little crazy, but you know, the, it's, it's a great metaphor for life. You, you, you work your ass off you know, every night, mentally, physically, and any given night, you can either be the weakest link or you could be the hero. And it's such an amazing metaphor for the way we live our lives in that you have the best of intentions, you, you work your ass off, but you really don't know the outcome. And sometimes in life, the outcome isn't the most important you know, part. It's really how you get to that outcome. It's really the things you put in your day to day. Are you happy with the work you put in day to day? And you know, the people that I've met on the ice have been a great representation, a great you know, you know, lesson for me in solidarity and hard work. Where, as I said, you're, we're playing hockey not in front of the screaming crowd. We're playing at obscene hours when everybody else is sleeping or having fun. Um, we're subjecting our loved ones to our absolute horrendous smells and ridiculously expensive equipment. But yet, all these guys, you know, these, these, everybody, like just like, all these people just keep drawing themselves back to the ice for some reason. And I truly believe that because hockey is a difficult, difficult thing to do, and it's a difficult thing to get right or do well, and the successes are quite low, <laughs> a few, uh, that it builds character in people. And I truly believe I've become a much better person. And some of the best people I know in my life, I've met on the ice. I think there's something extraordinary about tr different people from different walks of life with completely different moods, different things going on even in their day, for a few hours completely seeing the world in, uh, on the same page and seeing the same thing looking down the ice, trying to achieve the same thing. It's a beautiful thing and the fact that it's quite difficult and it's most of the time going to kick your ass is something that makes hockey a very respectable hobby for me and I think it's enriched my life and made it so much better. So. When you see photos and me cheering and me holding a hockey stick, just know that as difficult and smelly as it is, it's something that's really made my life better and that I believe that it making me a better person, it's made me better around for the people around me as well. So, regardless of who you cheer for, if you're a hockey fan or not, if you like the channel, subscribe, give a like, and I'll see you next time.